Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. In this session, I shall discuss a numerical on semaphore. So in detail, I have explained the concept of semaphores that is the binary semaphore, mutex and uh, counting semaphore in previous sessions. In this session, I shall discuss a numerical on this. What can be the question and how you need to answer? You know now very well what is the definition for the down operation in semaphore and what is the definition for the up, up operation on semaphore. The numerical, the statement says that counting semaphore S is initialized to 1. What is given? A counting semaphore S is initialized to 1. Initialized to 10, sorry. Initialized to 10. Look here, is initialized to 10. Then 6 down operations and 4 up operations are performed on the semaphore S. What is the final value of S? So, in simpler words, down operation will decrement the value of semaphore by 1, up operation will in increment the value of the semaphore by 1. So, decrement operation and increment operation. Since they have given that first continuously 6 down will happen followed by continuously 4 up operations. So, your job is also easy now because initial value is 10. Now, you have to perform 6 down operations. When you perform the 6 down operation for the first time when you do the uh, uh, down operation on this semaphore, your value becomes what? 9, isn't it? Your value becomes 9. It will decrement the semaphore by value by 1. Next time, it becomes 8. Next time, it becomes 7. Then next, it will become 6. Next, it will become 5. Next, it will become 4. So, how many times you are going to do? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Why? Because in the problem it is given perform 6 down operations. So, your semaphore value has become now S equal to 4. After that, it says that followed by 4 up operations. Up operation is what? Incrementing the semaphore by 1. So, now you have arrived here for the down, start doing the up operation for the existing value only. What is the existing value? 4. When you carry out the up operation on semaphore, you are incrementing the semaphore value by 1. So, yes becomes 5. The next time when you carry out the um, up operation, S becomes 6. The next time when you carry out, it will become 7. The next time you when you carry out, it will become 8. Why you have to stop here? Because only 4 up operations are given here. Okay, These are the 4 up operations. Whereas, from here to here is your down operations. So, like this there can be any number given here. I am just telling you the logic. 6 down and 4 up will give you what the final value in this case. The final value in this case is what? S equal to 8. So, you can write down the final value of S is the final value of S is 8 now. So, this can be in a multiple choice question also wherein they can give the options A, B, C, D, wherein they can write the final value, uh, the different options I am just telling S equal to 4, S equal to mm, 10, S equal to 8, none of the above. So, that time you can select yes, the value for S is 8 in this case. So, now sometimes what will happen now if the larger values are given there, you cannot proceed in this manner. Suppose if 30 up uh, operations are there, 40 down operations are there, then that many times you do not have to carry. Simply you can follow a shortcut method also. And what is the shortcut method? We will change some numbers here in the question and then I will tell you that method. So, the in the this one next example you can take the existing semaphore value that is counting semaphore S yes, is initialized to 7. Let me write here initialized to 7. Then 20 down operations are carried out and 10 up operations are carried out on the semaphore. Here it is 10, 20 and the existing value of the semaphore is 7. So, very simple. You can use the shortcut method initial uh, in the value for the semaphore is initialized to 7. So, S equal to. Now, what you do is first write down as it is 20 down. Down is what always decrementing the semaphore by value by 1. That is 20 times you have to decrement the semaphore value by 1. So, that, one, that when you are decrementing, you have to subtract from the existing number only. So, you will be writing 20 into 1 immediately followed by 10 up operations. 10 up operations is what? 10 into 1. Up that is why you are writing what here plus. 
down you will be writing it as minus. So, your value is now your equation becomes after you simplify how much it will be 7 minus 20 plus 5. It will be how much 7 minus of 20 plus 10 that is equal to 7 minus 5 which is equal to 2. So, your semaphore value is how much 2. This is your final value of the semaphore in this case. So, very simple because you are having a bigger value for the down and up you use this technique in order to arrive at the solution. But you will be knowing the logic what exactly is the down operation doing and what exactly is the up, up, up operation performing. So, this is all about what a simple numerical on the semaphore. A slightly complicated numerical can also be asked that I will be explaining in my next session. If you find this session useful, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care.